Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord for another beautiful day. We thank the Almighty God for making today possible. Beloved, wherever you are, I want you to appreciate the Lord. I want you to give God the glory. I want you to worship the Lord. Our Father will thank you. Our Father will give you glory. Our Father will magnify you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. There is no one like you. We bless your name because you are great. We bless your name because you are mighty. What a wonderful Father we serve. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we glorify you. Thank you for today. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for fighting for us. We appreciate you. Be exalted. Be glorified. Be honored. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Uh, beloved, if you are joining us for the first time, you are welcome. This is I Voltage Prayer Program. This is I Voltage Prayer Program. Like I used to say that in these last days, your prayer stamina must increase. Your prayer muscle must develop. Your prayer fire must increase. We must repair the altar of our prayer. Because the Bible says that the whole world lies in wickedness. And the Bible says wicked men shall continue to work stronger and stronger. So there is no way you pray that the wickedness should stop. It will continue. Wickedness will continue as long as Jesus Christ has not come. And that is why the only way, the survival strategy for every one of us is to be a prayer addict, is to be a prayer warrior, is to be a national prayer warrior, is to be a watchman, is to be an intercessor, is to be a prayer champion, is to develop the spirit of prayer, is to develop the power of prayers. Because wickedness shall continue to increase as we are moving closer and closer to the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. We need to tell you that one so that you can understand that if you fold your hands and you are not praying, if you fold your hand, you are not progressing in prayer. You are just endangering your life and you are also endangering the life of your family. We need to get ourselves prepared. If you are a man here, you must get yourself prepared. You must be able to pray for yourself, pray for your wife, pray for your children. Even when your wife and your children, when they are sleeping, you must be a priest in the house. You rise up on your feet and begin to pray for them and begin to call their name and begin to minister into, pray into the realm of the spirit concerning them and begin to bombard the realm of the spirit concerning their lives. Because this is the area that you can do more, you can do more, and you must be able to develop your priesthood. Beloved, it is high time for us to pray for the power of prayer. Don't forget, the more you pray, the more you discover some secret you have never discovered before. It is through prayer revelation is given to you. The more you pray, the more you discover secret. And the more you discover, the more you begin to have capacity to recover. The more you recover, the more you begin to possess your possession. Upon Mount Zion, the Bible says there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the people of the Lord shall possess their possession. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17. And the more you possess your possession, then the more you begin to manifest. The Bible says the whole world is endlessly waiting for the manifestation of the sons and the daughters of God. You need to get yourself prepared. That's what the Bible said in Psalm 8, sorry, in Romans chapter 8 verse 19. Romans chapter 8 verse 19. So it is time for you to get yourself prepared. This is not the time to fold your hands. This is not the time to just bend your hand, bend your head in melancholy and you're not praying. This is not the time to say, oh, you are looking for somebody to pity you. This is not the time you are looking for somebody to encourage you. In fact, everybody around you that you think will encourage you, they, they themselves are discouraged. It is time for you to encourage yourself in the Lord according to David. David encouraged himself in the Lord and he asked God, should I pursue? And the Lord said, yes, pursue. You overtake and recover. It is time for us to pursue. It is time for us to overtake. It is time for us to recover. Prepare yourself now as we enter into this prayer uh, uh, arena today. Don't forget, this program covers two days. The one we are doing today, we cover today the fourth and the fifth. So you are going to pray the prayer today and you pray the prayer tomorrow. Please put everything you can put in this prayer. It's an aggressive prayer program. It's an high voltage program. You must prepare and pray very well. Pray aggressively and you begin to see signs and wonders. A lot of testimony have bombarded us because people pray and their prayer hit the target and there were many, many miracles that were released into them. Your breakthrough shall be released. Your testimony shall be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Take a song that you love, sing it unto the Lord 
and bless his name, glorify his name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord, hallelujah. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord. I want you to get yourself prepared now. The Bible says, the Bible says that if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. John chapter 8, verse 36. If the Son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. God wants to make you to be free. For John chapter 3, verse 8, he said, He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, what is the purpose? For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. What is that purpose? That he might destroy the works of the devil. The works of the devil. There are works of the devil. There are wickedness of the wicked that you have to put a stop to it. Because Jesus Christ came into the world that he may stop that process. So when you command in the name of Jesus, every wicked, every wickedness of the wicked shall, shall be put on hold. They shall stop forever. Don't forget, it is time for you to pray. The Bible says, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted out. Matthew chapter 15 verse 13. Get ready as we get them rooted out now. I want you to pray with aggression. I want you to be boiling as we pray. I hope you are ready. Open your mouth and shout this prayer loud and clear. Say my destiny. Receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my destiny receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my destiny receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my destiny receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my destiny receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my destiny receive deliverance by fire. In the name of Jesus, my destiny receive deliverance by fire. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lay your hand on your head and pray that prayer for another five minutes. Say, My destiny. Receive deliverance by fire. Uh -huh. My destiny. Receive deliverance by fire. Uh -huh. Pray for about five minutes. Now with your hands still on your head, you will shout this prayer very, very loud. And make sure you shout it well. Say, every instrument of the night flying against me in the dream. Die in the name of Jesus. Every instrument of the night flying against me in the dream. Die in the name of Jesus. Every instrument of the night flying against me in the dream. Ah, in the name of Jesus, every instrument of the night flying against me in the dream. Ah, in the name of Jesus, every instrument of the night flying against me in the dream. Ah, in the name of Jesus, every instrument of the night flying against me in the dream. Ah, in Jesus' name, we pray. If you have been having a complaint that you see some uh, bird flying at night against you, many of them are making noise like cats. Many of them are discussing in your compound. You are hearing the voice of animal in the compound like a voice of children. That is a COVID meeting is going on. They are having a meeting in your compound. If you don't stop that meeting, that meeting will oppress everybody in that place. And they will be stealing virtues away in the, in, in the life of the people there. You have to pray. Shout this prayer very well. Say, I receive power to put enemy into, into trouble. Uh -huh. I receive power. To put my enemy into trouble in the name of Jesus. I receive power to put my enemy into trouble in the name of Jesus. I receive power to put my enemy into trouble in the name of Jesus. I receive power. 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 In Jesus' name, pray. We are in the age where you must cry for power because the only thing the enemy is afraid is power. You are going to say it again. Say, I receive power. To fight against every power that is fighting against me in the name of Jesus. I receive power to fight against any power that is fighting against me in the name of Jesus. I receive power to fight against any power that is fighting against me in the name of Jesus. I receive power to fight against any power that is fighting against me in the name of Jesus. I receive power to fight against any power that is fighting against me in the name of Jesus. I receive power to fight against any power that is fighting against me in the name of Jesus. I receive power to fight against any power that is fighting against me in Jesus' name we pray. You will shout 
shout with more shout louder than the way you are shouting say every evil rage against my destiny at night in the name of Jesus, every evil rage against my destiny at night. In the name of Jesus, every evil rage against my destiny at night. In the name of Jesus, every evil rage against my destiny at night. In the name of Jesus, every evil rage against my destiny at night. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your arm be on your chest. And you shout this prayer very well. Say, evil arrow fire into my life at night go back to your sender in the name of jesus evil arrow fire into my life at night go back to your sender in the name of jesus if i were you i will pray this prayer aggressively evil arrow fire into my life at night go back to your sender in the name of jesus evil arrow fire into my life at night go back to your sender in the name of jesus evil arrow fire into my life at night go back to your sender go back to your sender go back to your sender in jesus they will pray as we are praying that prayer action is taking place the power of god is moving like a rocket i want you to pray more i want you to pray more i want you to cry louder say this one with power say every covenant made with family idol on my behalf that is tormenting me break by the blood of jesus in the name of jesus every covenant made with family idol on my behalf that is tormenting me Break by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant made with family I do on my behalf that is tormenting me. Break by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Uh, this prayer is for some people. As we are praying now, I can see some large numbers of people. You know, as we are praying, there is this personality that wants to come out from your body. You need to pray that prayer. As you are praying it, that personality shall disappear from your body. I want you to pray. Are you ready? Say, every covenant made with family I do on my behalf. Break by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant made with family I do on my behalf. Break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your uh, put your finger on your belly button. Aha. Uh-huh. Then pray the prayer again. Every covenant made with family I do on my behalf. Break by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant made with the family I do on my behalf. Break by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant made with family I do on my behalf. Break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This family I do had made many life miserable. This family I do has destroyed many people's glory. This family I do had made champion to become to become useless. This many this family idol had made prophet to become parrot because this idol has useless many lives. This idol had married to some beautiful girls in the family and he has made it make sure that those girls cannot get married. Even when they do match make for them, whether somebody introduce a man to them, a man before you know within one year, two years, that marriage will scatter. This family idol has made it so much that some 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 guests they will propose to them, some ladies they will propose to them. The man that proposed to them within two weeks will lose his business, will lose his his work. They can sack him from his place of work. This family idol has tormented many ladies that even some of them get married, they couldn't give back. They have known IVF four or five times, they couldn't go back because there is a covenant unknown to many of these ladies. There is a covenant that has been formed with family idol on behalf of these ladies. These ladies were not aware, but it has been formed on behalf of this lady. Because if your parent or your grandparent or your uncle, somebody who has the same blood with you, enter into a covenant on your behalf, is bound, is binding, because he has a spiritual authority to enter into the realm of the spirit and form a covenant on your behalf. That is why you have to pray that prayer very well. Many life are miserable now. Many life are just going, they don't know. Some people are walking like cops. People are even tired. Some people dis- they've decided to even they-, they left the church. They don't know what to do again. Some said they have prayed, they have prayed, they have prayed. It's like nothing is happening. In fact, many of them just 
go on their way. They don't know what to do again. Do you know we have intelligent first class brain who can no longer co go to school after they reach the, the final years, their brain scatter. It is the it is the at working of this family I do. Pray that prayer very, very well. Transfer your hand to your head now. Say every covenant made with family I do on my behalf. Break by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant made with family I do on my behalf. Break by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant made with family I do on my behalf. Break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. Break by the blood of Jesus. Do you know that many people complain of the spirit husband? They try everything they can do. The spirit husband will still come. Because the spirit husband we are talking about is more than what we are saying. It is a covenant between your family idol. Until it's separated from you, you cannot be free. You shout it aggressively again. How can a lady sleep at night? And by the time she will wake up in the morning, all the nightgown she wore has been removed from her. No, she couldn't imagine who remove it. How can a lady sleep at night? And by the time she wake up in the morning, her body has been littered with semen. She couldn't explain it to anybody. There is a bombardment of the spirit husband. And the life of this lady are turning upside down. Many of them are afraid. Many of them are even ashamed of the bombardment. What of the men? Men are also, are also rubbish by the spirit wife. Until you pray some prayers. Until your spiritual level go higher. Until your prayer temperature become hot. This kind of agreement is always is very strong and that is why you have to pray that is why we are crying that the more you pray the more you discover secrets can you open your mouth again and shout it louder every covenant made with family i do on my behalf break by the blood of jesus in the name of jesus every covenant made with family i do on my behalf Break by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Every covenant made with family I do on my behalf. Break, 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 in the name of Jesus. Every covenant made with family I do on my behalf. Break in Jesus' name we pray. Please, can you bring out your oil? If you have your oil there, it is time for us to use it now quickly. Bring out your oil. Father, I pray that this oil, bring out your water too. I pray that the oil and the water carry your power. Let the blood of Jesus flow into that oil, flow into that water. From where I am talking now, I command the oil to turn in your hand and become instrument of power. I command the oil to turn in your hand and become instrument of deliverance. Let the fire of God vomit into that oil. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, take the oil, rub it on your chest. Uh, so Something is about to happen now. Then rub it on your on your belly button and put your hand on your chest. You are going to shout this prayer very, very well. Say, every dedication to family idol, uh -huh, afflicting my life, break by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every dedication to family idol, afflicting my life, break, 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 break. In Jesus' name we pray. Now take the oil, put it on your center head. Your center head. Uh, if you have another hair on your head, remove it now. Uh, if you have a wig, remove it now. Put it. Let the oil be touching the head. Go, go. Uh -huh. The real head. Let it touch it. Now put your hand on it. You are going to pray that prayer again. Every dedication to family idol uh -huh, or afflicting my destiny. Break by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every every dedication to family idol afflicting my destiny. Break by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every dedication to family idol afflicting my destiny. Break by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every dedication to family idol afflicting my destiny. Break, 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 break. In Jesus' name, pray. Now transfer your hand now. Put it on your chest. You are going to shout the prayer again. Say every dedication to family idol. Uh -huh. A sign to make my life miserable. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Every dedication to family idol. A sign to make my life miserable. Yeah! 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 In the name of Jesus. Every dedication to family idol. A sign to make my life miserable. Yeah! 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 In Jesus' name we pray. There is somebody with a mark. There's a mark on your chest. Look at it. Yes. Put anointing oil there. I see another person. There's a mark on your tummy. A mark of scorpion. A strange mark. There. A strange mark like a mark of a scorpion. Yeah. If you notice strange mark on your body, 
you have asked your mother before whether they have noise. Just look at your body very well. Look at every part of your body. I'm not talking about the mark you put yourself. I'm not talking about whether you are the one that put that tune when you are growing up, you want to be a fine girl, a fine boy. No, I'm not talking. I'm talking about the mark, strange mark. You notice your body. Now look at it. Now put the oil on that mark. Put the oil there. You are going to pray now. Uh -huh. That mark is a covenant. That mark has taken you to another world. That mark is a demonic mark. They may say you inherited it, but it's more than what you know. And that mark that is in your body is a sign that there's, there's a doorway through your body into a demonic world. And it gives a demonic invasion into your life. If you don't close the doorway, there will be, end, there will be easy access of evil spirit into your life. So you are going to pray now. Say every evil link and contact with demon in my body. Uh -huh. Break in the name of Jesus. Every evil link and contact with demon in my body. Break, 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 break. In Jesus' name we pray. Now rub it now. Say blood of Jesus. Uh -huh. Wipe off the evil mark in my body in the name of jesus blood of jesus wipe off the evil mark in my body in the name of jesus blood of jesus wipe off the evil mark in my body in the name of jesus blood of jesus wipe off the evil mark in my body in jesus name we pray beloved you know we've been talking about my glory must manifest this is one of the reasons glory had not manifested in the life of people uh, I'm going to take a time to really we deal with them one by one. Yeah, we may we we'll talk about you know about 21 uh, you know uh, uh, signs that you will notice that we always that you will notice uh, revealing to you that really your glory has been tampered with, and we need to also speak on some of the things that has really affected our glory from manifesting one of them is the family idol that we have spoken now we will take them one by one as we go progressively today uh, uh sorry in this series uh, the first the first power that we always make glory not to showcase or not to manifest the power that fight glory from manifestation the power that confront glory from being manifested the first one is sin sin that you commit you are not ready to confess them if you don't confess the sin it will always make your glory not to manifest the second one is the family idol we are talking about the family idol we go deeper into this as you flow into with us because this is the area that concerns many of us who are african it's a serious area even some people who have traveled abroad who have traveled abroad they are bombarded with this problem they cannot some of them are even tired they don't know what to do again because they they, they are they are fed up one thing is this you must not feel you, you can't quit you if you quit you are just endangering yourself we need to pray until we get to the level you follow us in this series and you are going to get your deliverance perfectly i pray that the lord will bless you the lord will liberate you in the name of jesus christ beloved i want you to get that oil rub it on every part of your body if you have a part of the body you want healing just lay your hand on that place and you will say healing power of the lord Come upon my body. Healing power of the Lord. Come upon my body. Come upon my body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Then still lay your hand on that area that you want healing. You will say, Divine surgeons of heaven, operate on my body and heal me perfectly. Divine surgeons of heaven, operate on my body and heal me perfectly. Don't forget the prayer. Divine surgeons of heaven, operate on my body. And heal me perfectly. Let me repeat again. Divine surgeons of heaven, operate on my body and heal me perfectly. Pray that prayer for about 10 minutes on any part of the body, whether it's your womb that is blocked, your ovary is blocked, you have uh, anemia, you have whatever. Just pray that prayer and you will see what God will do. Get back to us on this WhatsApp number 0802. 336-9298. Just, just send the text to us. It's a WhatsApp number. You don't need to call. Just send the text to us. 0802-336-9298. High Fellowship at Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministry. Our international headquarters is at number 13 on La Simbo Street, Unike, Sabuya, Lagos, Nigeria. Here, our Father and the Lord 
uh, the general overseer of Mountain of Fire Miracle Ministry, a man anointed and grace in the area of deliverance, the man with special grace in the area of deliverance, minister life there, and life are transformed, yokes are broken, and people are liberated from captivity. You don't need to stay in cap. You don't need to stay in captivity. Cry out unto the Lord, and the Lord will deliver you. You can also visit any of our branches, our churches, our regions. They are scattered all over the world. Go there. Our pastors are friendly. They will attend to you. God bless you, really good in Jesus' name. Happy New Month once again. And this is your friend, Pastor Emmanuel Akela. God bless you.